You have the nasty style. The assurance of my salvation here and now. Really? Show me where that is. Show me where the assurance is. I beg, I challenge you. Show me. Excuse me, are you, are you going to listen? Okay, it says here in Matthew 7.22. Sorry, 7, 7.21. You can follow. It says here, not everyone. Are you listening? She's going to follow you. Actually. Madam, are you listening? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, it says here, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my father. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Are you saying, are you saying, wait a minute, are you saying your God loves everyone unconditionally? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you because in the Quran, no, no, no. In the Quran, the love is conditional. It's not unconditional. I've already told you, the love, the love is conditional, not unconditional. And it is the same in the Bible. Give an answer direct, no. You see, the reason, the reason God created hellfire, which you believe and I believe, is for a reason. It's not to put, it's not put the people that he loves in hellfire. It is a people that he cursed to be in hellfire because they were disobedient to him. And they choose And this is in your Bible and also in my Quran. Yeah. So do not say that your Bible is better because what you do is you cherry pick verses which are nice and rosy. But the ones which are really, really like the one I showed you, you will say, I haven't even read it. Yeah. I don't know about it. I have to go and look up. Yeah. You know, because what they do in the church, yeah. they only told them about those nice, peaceful verses. But that's what we preach. <laughs> Please, the whole Bible. Why are you Don't cherry pick it. Why are you hiding the nasty stuff? Don't cherry pick. Why do you have the nasty stuff? The assurance of my salvation here and now. Really? Show me where that is. Show me where the assurance is. I beg. I challenge you. Show me. You have assurance of the. <laughs> so there'll be no day of judgment for these guys. But yet, God will question them according to their own Bible. There'll be question on the day of judgment. If you are, if you ah, uh, if did you see that if is yeah. the condition? Yeah. If yeah. is the condition. The Bible makes it clear that the salvation comes through your faith in Jesus Christ as the Son of God who died for sins. No, no. Show me that word. Short, right? short. So, uh, Where? Which verse? And I show you. It's, Jesus Christ it's, it's God, all over God. the Bible. All, all over. So you should not have any problem then. One you verse. should have no problem locating it then. <laughs> What Bible all is this? Is open it like that Which and Bible come is it? Up because it's all over the Bible. In the James. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. There's a verse in the Bible where it tells you that if you call him Lord, Lord, yes? Yeah, Matthew. And you do miracles in his name and you do, you, you basically uh, cast out demons in his name. You will be, you will be. Go away from Unless me. and until you do the will of the Father, you will be considered and cursed as evildoers. He's talking about evil people. Like evil you. People. Yes, like, like you. Now, however, this is for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Yeah, we believe in him. For God did not yeah. send the son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. I mean, that's beautiful. By what? Yeah, By you don't believe in Jesus as, a, as your way of salvation. No, no, wait, wait. What did you just read that? What did you just read that? Show that is nothing to do. This is, this is extended to everyone, to all of you. No, 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 no. it's conditional. It's conditional. You just read it. Read it's again. It's conditional. I'm gave his only son that whoever believes exactly. in him. Exactly. Whoever believes in him. Whoever whoever believes believes in him. In him. Yeah. That is conditional. Yeah. <laughs> what if you don't oh my believe God. That's not for the non-believers. It is for the ones who believe Jesus is the son of God. Well, believe the son of God so do not say, wait. So the unbeliever, your God does not love now, wait. them. Show me the words where he says he loves the unbelievers. That's no, no, he, does he love the, 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 the devil? Does he love the devil? Suffering from an illness. And I show say, me where the words he believes, say, loves the unbelievers. If you're suffering from illness, but he loves Satan. Everyone who takes it will be saved. Yeah. Conditional. That's my so, point. Yes. That's exactly my point. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't we have to the take the medicine then. We it's know we need to take the medicine. Same. It's not the same. Same. Like you say, I, I love you, you so fair? much. I offer you this pill. I want and if I refuse? Now, if you are not taking it, which is what I, I mean. Which is what I mean. It means it is conditional. You So you have to believe. You have. According to you, you said he loves everyone, including the non-believers. Same as our God. Our God. The same. He says unbelievers. Show me where he says he loves the unbelievers. Show me. Yeah, he loves the, the unbelievers. No, it's true. He, he loves them and then puts them back in the... Does he love Satan as well, your God? Does he love the Satan? The reason... The Satan. 
No. Does he love the Satan? No. Why does not he love the Satan? Would you kill yourself if he's disobedient to you? Does your God love the Satan, madam? Listen, if you ask me a question, let me ask you. Madam, does your love... Let me talk to you. I'm looking for the verse. Yeah. It says... says what? Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Christ died for you while you were still sinners. Were you even born then? How can you be a sinner when you're not born? Why didn't you why, why didn't you read the verse in Matthew 7.22? That's where it is. <coughs> yeah. Matthew 7.22 is the one that you need. Matthew. What's going on there? What happened? Something wrong? Oh, that's fine. You're not on the camera, don't worry. Don't worry. She's worried to be exposed. I just don't want to end that one. That's it. No, don't worry. Well, if there's a truth, why should you hide it? Why should you hide? Yeah, exactly. Let's read Matthew 7.22. Are you going to read that or do you want me to read it? I'm still looking for the, you know... No, no, that's Christ fine. We'll read. He died according for us while we're still sinners. Yeah, and who says what, that? Who says that? Who says, says who says Jesus died for us? Jesus himself says that? When he died or before he died, did say, he said that? Okay, what do you make of this verse here? That makes sense. Listen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, are you, are you going to listen? Madam, okay, it says here in Matthew 7.22. Sorry, 7... 721. You can follow. It says here, not everyone. Are you listening? She's going to follow you. Madam, actually. are you listening? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, it says here, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on the day, Lord, the Lord, day, did yeah. we not prophesy in your name, the and in your name drive out demons, Muslim and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly. I never Parish. knew you. Go away. And he says, this is very important. Away from me, you evildoer. Away from me, you evildoer.